and we can be kind. 11 minutes to 8. Now, they say that every cloud has a silver lining, but when 60 members of a Muslim youth group rushed to the aid of flood victims in Cumbria, they couldn't have known it would lead to lasting friendships. BBC Radio Cumbria is, once again, joining BBC's Faith in the World Week and celebrating the people working to bring peace to our communities. Spreading peace might not have been the immediate aim of the Muslim youth group as it arrived in Keswick and Cockermouth to help those left devastated by Storm Desmond. But it did prove to be an unexpected legacy. Well, we brought Nadim Ahmed, the leader of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association in Yorkshire, back to Keswick to chat to Alan Daniels, a Christian and a town councillor in the town. I can remember on this road itself, uh, further down, there was uh, police barriers there saying do not come across to this road because uh, this is a road that was uh, flooded at the time. Before, there was cars going past without drivers, wasn't there, Alan? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's hard to believe that only three years ago, where we're standing, we would have been knee-deep in water. Absolutely. When, when we first arrived, there was a bit of hesitance that this local area hasn't seen a predominant Muslims before. And their first views of Muslims were what was in the media. And we came here to show the true message of Islam, which is to help the fellow being. We, as Muslims, are duty-bound to go our, out of our way to help these people in need, like I said, regardless of color, uh, religion, or creed. This is where they piled all the rubbish that came over the river. They, this was an empty lot, and all the trees and, and stumps and bits of bits of caravan that were on the road they just shoved into here yeah, it wasn't just that it was also the stuff inside the houses like fridges freezers washing machine furniture all that was dumped there as well did you go to this house Nadine? i think so we all to be honest with you if it wasn't for the uh, floods i probably wouldn't even come to keswick in my life and 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 because of the floods i visited this beautiful place six times now and if it wasn't for the uh, floods i would not have met alan as a, like a good friend of mine and I want to met the local Keswick people here as well. So this floods has become a blessing in disguise. Muslims are not what you see in the media. Muslims are loving fellow beings. We have shared food together, which is the best way to get to know each other. We have shared food in their mosque. They have shared food up here in Keswick. Fish and chips being their very, very favorite meal. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Love the fish and chips. <laughs> The honest truth is we came here to put a smile on the local people. That's, that's the honest truth, and that's an act of charity in our religion. So we came here to uh, meet the local people to give that moral support. When they were here for the first time, there were people in Keswick and Cockermouth who were not, let's say, as accepting of their kindness as they should have been, which didn't surprise me because Cumbria can be quite um, an insulated place that we don't have a huge ethnic mix and certainly not in Keswick so I could see the hesitation with some people but I'm very very glad to say now after the visits we've had and all the interaction we've had we have really I think brought these people into our hearts and into our homes I think that it's changed the mindset of people in Keswick completely and you can find out more about BBC Faith in the World Week and indeed see a photograph of uh, Nadim and Alan and hear a little of that interview actually on the BBC's Faith in the World Week website. Uh, just put a title into your search engine and you'll find it. Uh, we've made a little video of Nadim and Alan's meeting which will appear on our Facebook page over the next few days.